hello friends welcome back to form fully in this video we are covering next uh, five questions regarding java 8 uh, so let's get started with our first mcq so first question here are the outputs so let's break down the code step by step first uh, creating the list okay so we have used arrays dot as list to create the list with value from 1 to 10 uh, this list represent the input data that we will process okay then second step is uh, using parallel stream uh, so here we convert the list into a parallel stream uh, stream allow us to process data sequence in a functional style we know that and using parallel stream uh, help us run the uh, operation in parallel uh, so potentially improving performance by utilizing multiple cpu cores so then we have filter method filter method applies a condition in this case the condition is n divided by 2 n mod 2 equals to equals to 0 which checks if the number is even or not the filter keeps only the even number that is 2 4 6 8 and 10 and discard the rest okay then uh, converting to int we used uh, map to int method that converts the remaining number uh, which are integer objects into primitive int values uh, this is necessary because sum works with primitive int values not objects so after summing 2 4 6 8 and 10 the value will return uh, 30 so in this case it will print option b 30 okay moving towards next question uh, here are the output you can pause the video and analyze the code and come with the output so uh, in this code we are using java dot uh, java stream api again but this time to join a list of names using formatted stream so let's break down the code step by step uh, first step is creating the list so we initialize the list of string with the name john jane jake and do uh, this list is the input data we will process then uh, we use creating a stream uh, we convert the list into a stream uh, using stream method then we coming towards third step uh, which is collect method uh, we use to accumulate the elements of the stream into the final result so inside that uh, collectors dot joining method is used which is uh, which concatenate all the elements of the stream into a single string so first argument that is comma uh, specifies that the name should be separated by a comma and a space okay and then second argument that is names uh, this one okay names is a prefix added at the start of the result and then third last third argument is suffix added at the end of the result so the final result will look like names john j jake and do so option d is correct okay moving towards next question so here are the output uh, you can analyze the code and come with the output uh, so let's break down the code step by step uh, so first line is uh, as previous we have uh, initialized a list of string with the names tom jerry donald and daisy uh, this list is the input that we will be process okay then uh, in next steps in second step we convert the list into a stream using stream method uh, we know that this allow us to process the element in a functional way then in third step uh, here we use the collector dot grouping by method to group the element that is names based on the length of each string so the string length this uh, function is used to uh, calculate the length of each name the grouping by method organize the names into a map where the key is the length of the name and the value is the list of names that have that length okay for example here uh, tom uh, names with three letter then uh, jerry and daisy names with five letter and donald uh, names with six letter so printing the group uh, map we print the result which will display a map that groups the name by their length so the output will look like three tom five jerry daisy six donald so the correct option is option d so moving towards the next question here are the output so let's break down the code step by step the first step is uh, create creating the nested list okay uh, we create a nested list which is essentially a list of lists 
here nested list contain three sub list that is a b c d e and third one is f g and h this structure is called a nested list where each element is a list of strings then moving towards uh, next step that is uh, nested list dot stream which uh, first convert nested list into a stream using nested list dot stream at this point each element in the stream is still a list of stream then uh, the flat map method is key here uh, it takes each sublet and flattens it that means turning the stream of list into a stream of individual strings by calling a uh, list interface and uh, stream method each sublet is converted into its own stream and flat map merges all of those streams into one continuous stream of strings so then the third uh, third step is collecting the flattened stream uh, we use collectors dot to list method to collect the flattened stream into a new list this give us a single flattened list containing all strings from the nested structure so then we have printing the flattened lists so it will print a b c d e f g in a single line okay. so moving towards next question uh, here are the output you can pause the video and come with the output so let's break down this code step by step first is uh, creating a list using uh, arrays dot as list so we have created a list one to nine then uh, coming towards next step that is uh, creating a stream so we call stream method on the numbers list to create a stream uh, this stream will process each number one by one then uh, the partitioning by uh, collector is used to partition element into two groups those that satisfy a given condition and those that do not okay because predicate uh, we have used predicate here the condition is specified uh, using lambda expression uh, which checks if the number is even if uh, n mod 2 equals equal to 0 return true the number is even otherwise it is odd so the result is a map boolean list where key is true uh, this list contains all even number those that satisfies the condition and key false the list contains all the odd numbers those that don't satisfy the condition so then uh, we have a printing method that will print partition so the output will be display the partition map which looks like this false 1 3 5 7 9 and 2 2 4 6 8 so the correct option is option b uh, the summary of this code is uh, the, this code is demonstrate how to use collectors or partitioning by to divide a list of numbers into two groups based on a condition in this case whether the number are even or odd this is simple yet powerful tool for categorizing data in Java using stream API. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, do like, share and subscribe. I will bring uh, another set of questions in the upcoming videos. So stay tuned and thanks for watching.